Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Uh, welcome to this Rob Pappen Vecto guide. Um, I'll get to that part later in the video. I just wanted to say this is my first time using Vecto um, and it's really good fun to use. The presets on it are amazing um, and I'll go through some of those later on as well. Uh, if you didn't know, Vecto is a four part oscillator. Um, as you can see here, you've got one, two, three and four. Uh, I'm just going to be walking through some of that as well. And uh, yeah, it was really good fun to use. It can look a little bit daunting with all these um, controls and everything, but I read through the guide and I do recommend other people to do that as well before you start with this one. Um, it is quite in depth. I can liken it to Alchemy from Logic, except um, Alchemy isn't as sort of in depth as this one. So uh, yeah, if you read through the guide, you'll definitely get hands on with this pretty quickly. Um, if there's anything else that you would like us to go through on any of the Rob Pappen range or even with this one, uh, Vecto, let us know in the comments below and uh, we'll see what we can do. Hello everyone and welcome to this small quick start guide um, with a few little examples at the end. Um, but today I'm just going to walk you through sort of this main oscillator section and we'll talk about the arpeggiator section as well. Um, but yeah, the, pretty much the rest of it is self-explanatory. You've got filters here with the envelope for the filters. You've got an amp here, which sort of controls, um, well, the actual uh, level of the uh, oscillators as well. You've got other envelopes down here for LFOs 1 and 2, which obviously can be used for modulation and things like that. Um, so yeah, to start off, um, if you click this manager part here and then where it says introduction if you click there you've got all these um all these presets and everything there's there's loads in here absolutely tons of it um but today i'm going to stick with ambient i'll click order by date and then the first 14 in this uh, preset pack anyway first 14 of these are the new ones for Ve uh, vector 1.2 which you can see here, this is what I'm using, Vector 1.0.2, sorry. Um, so yeah, if I go back to Manager and then click Slow Vector Pad Choir, because that's probably the nicest sounding thing I've ever heard in my life. So here we go. That is lovely, isn't it? So to start, uh, oscillators, one, two, three, and four. Uh, as you can see, the vector is on. If I turn that on and off, you can see these little numbers pop up. Essentially, all that means is um, the volume is sort of relatable to where this little dot is. Um, so obviously, if this dot is all the way over here, then the volume of that oscillator one won't be very loud at all. Um, it will make more sense when I play um, a note with some of these in it because you'll see that depending on what sort of sound design you want, you either do want vector on or you don't. Um, sometimes it can really sort of destroy the sound you're looking for if it is off because um, it's too loud. So sometimes you want it on just so that it blends together a bit nicely, um, which is pretty much what this uh, preset does for you. So, um, with this little dot here, you can move it around if you click on it, or you can click anywhere and it will go to where you are. You've also got these little um, pots down here which sort of control it as well. Um, but for us, it's probably easier just to do that. Um, as you can see, it's in poly mode with eight steps. If I go to replay mode and press a note, See, it sort of moves along this line. If I change it to free mode, it just constantly moves. And the same with mono as well. The step mode essentially just set, tells it where to start the, the step. Um, depends on what um, preset you're using or what you want to go for. There'll be, there'll be 
um, several steps that you can start from but obviously this one's starting from one but I'll pop it back into poly mode and turn that off for now change that to 32 and then this little part here brings up a grid so as you can see it moves along on the corners so if I go to direct and move this around it's not as uh, fluid as it was before it's moving sort of snapping to the grid um, uh, and that can be useful depending on what you want record in things as well so if I turn that off and then bring that down here so it's on record mode I'll press a note and then move it around and then uh, and then I'll I'll click replay and then press a note and you'll see that it kind of moves in the same way depending on how many steps and whether this is on or off um, how it sort of behaves so um, yeah I'll just press a note and move it around go into this part here you'll see it sort of snaps to the grid and then if I change the steps to 8 like I did and then this to 8 so it just depends on what you want um, how to how, you, how fine you want the sound to be whether you want it to be a bit robotic or um, whether you want it to be really fluid but there's a lot of control that you can do with this um, you can also choose um, different shapes and things so there's a circle and there's a square so all I'm doing is right clicking and then choosing what I want really spiral in uh, how many turns of the spiral click for so yeah it kind of works very similar to how alchemy works in logic pro x um, except with this one you're using oscillators um, I think with alchemy it's more to do with like a like a, a, a preset um, kind of sound and you and you mix through the different preset sounds um, you can fine-tune them in alchemy but not as much as you can in this this is way more in-depth um, the other thing that um, I wanted to show you as well is uh, this play mode and arpeggio because everything else is pretty standard you've got your effects and things here um, but to get your arpeggio working if I go to manager again and I'll go to synth sounds and the kind pluck because the best way to sort of show you this is with a plucky noise so all you do click on poly go to ARP and this is in the play mode and then uh, to add or take away <clears throat> a note just click on the number that you want and it will remove it or you can click on it again and it will bring it back um, we do eight steps and you can bring these velocity numbers down just it sounds a bit more realistic um, <clears throat> two, uh, two octaves let's put it on random just press a note and see what happens it's as easy as that just make sure it's in arc mode um, choose what you want 16 steps 8 steps 3 octaves 4 octaves bit crazy that 
那是不见。Down, down, up, up, down. So yeah, pretty cool.、Um, and that's pretty much it for what I wanted to show you. Really, it's just a, a nice little way to get sort of started on things. What these oscillators do.、Um, these are just. Your standard octave、um, oscillator、um, controls here. You've got semitones, fine tuning and sense, the spread of the so probably you know the detuning and things like that. A bit of sub bass drift,、um, just everything you could really want in an oscillator, and it's all just so, and you've got four of them to choose from,、um, and then all these have different presets as well, which is pretty cool. Um, you've got vocals,、uh, metallic hits, big samples, strings. There's absolutely tons of it. So、um, yeah, lots to play with,、um, which is basically what I did, and I will show you in the next part of the video.